Oh, the helmet was rattling pretty bad. That was annoying. Ugh. This is tore up pretty bad. Really uh, bumpy. Everything I do is bumpy. Nothing is easy. Boy, I wish whoever rode the snowmobile back here just drove a straight fucking line. Whoever that dick is. Making it real hard. and they all fucking tore up. Boy, it's beautiful when I get off of their track. Get right back on it and then it's a nightmare. Thank God they turned around there. It's gonna make my life a lot easier. Yeah, like more than half a tank. Plenty. They're back to their zigzag shit again. Oh God. side of it. out hmm maybe not yet Shit. It's like a tree down. I can't go around that. have to get set up so I can if I have to I can hook onto a tree
is a beast of a sled. If I ever got it stuck, if I got a winch on the front and a winch on the back, at least I can help it along. Damn it. It's like it snows deep. Stay in the middle of this shit. <laughs> See how deep the snow is? Probably a couple feet packed. Oh, yeah, it's above my knees. Yeah, right at my knee. Yeah. So I have all the gear unloaded out of my box except for a snow shovel. I've got it in low. Bring it back up to high. I gotta get some air moving to my face here. Ugh. Oh, that's way better. I did not need to wear my negative 40 suit because I'm overheating. Yeah, I should have known better. I should have not worn a sedentary suit. It's really dumb. I gotta unzip it. Real dumb. Holy shit. Like a hundred degrees inside my suit. I'm gonna turn off the heated, do everything I can to cool down. Yeah, I, I wouldn't come back here by myself without that winch on the front and the back. I did reinforce uh, a little bit up front, and I'm not I'm not gonna torque this thing out and bend that thing all up. All I need to do is just a little bit of help, and then the one on the back has got a, uh, I don't know quarter inch steel plate that is bolted to it's bolted to two steel plates back there so my more solid um, winch is the back the front is just to uh, help it a little bit without bending the shit out of my bumper of course if I did I'd just get another bumper not too worried in fact I I got a guy that can reinforce that for me. Should probably do that. Boy, it helps to know a fabricator. In fact, I should probably take it to him and say, what do you think you could do here to beef that up? So my skis on the front are 11 inches wide. My track is a 20 inch track. I believe it's a 20. Yeah, it's a 20. And I got inch and a half uh, Cobra paddles. Inch and a half paddles on it. So the, the box adds a little bit of weight. Which makes, uh, makes the whole thing a little tippy. So I need to come up with a quick release. So I can easily take this box on and off. Because I really could do uh, a lot better. Because the thing is a little tippy because of that box. Now the box is empty right now. There's nothing in it other than a snow shovel. And then I got uh, I got to reinforce that front winch. I mean, I reinforced it a little bit. But I can do better. I need I need a I need a really uh, firm way to do that. Which I have a guy that can do it for me. This is no speed demon. This is not a. Uh, this is like. Um, huh. I don't know, like driving a log truck. 
He could, I mean, this thing will pull logs. deep. Oh, shit. <sighs> Can't walk on this shit. the door of the outhouse open. Raccoons or whatever be pooping in there all winter. <laughs>